Hey everybody, it is Thursday and that means it is time to do some more drawing. Are you ready? I'm ready. My name's Boris. Of course, I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, so you're going to find out I'm a little bit biased towards our drivers in the, the Toyota race cars. As you'd expect, that's what we're going to draw here today. I don't know about you, but I am super thankful for another day where we can draw. We had another great race this weekend, so I'm thankful for that. We didn't win, but that's okay. That's okay. It was a good showing. Had some issues, but uh, tell you what, it was a safe race. It was fun to watch, and I'm very thankful to have another great one coming up this weekend at Dover. If you uh, were watching earlier in the week, we drew Miles the Monster holding Kyle Busch's race car. There it is. How about that? Let me push it up a little bit. There we go. We also, uh, I guess we have a Kyle Busch theme going on. We drew that car jumping the curbs. Kyle Busch's M&M's car, and of course we drew the Daytona road course that we raced on last week, but this week a double header at Dover. Double the fun. Double the drawing this week. Tuesdays and Thursdays now is when we're drawing. So, let's get started. Now at Daytona, Brandon Jones was our highest finishing driver in the Xfinity series in those Supras. What a great job he did. Some people don't think of Brandon Jones as a road course racer, but he proved him wrong on Saturday. So we're going to draw his car for Dover, and his car is almost always a bright yellow Menards Supra. It has a black hood this weekend, so it's a little special. We're going to draw a side view. I've got Martin Truex's Bass Pro Shops car here. I can show you the view we're going to draw. It's going to be kind of like that. Okay? So get your uh, drawing utensils ready. I'm going to be using a marker and some crayons, and that's what we're going to draw today. All right? While you're getting ready, I'm going to read some of the comments because I really enjoy seeing what y'all are doing out there, and if you're enjoying the drawing, thank you for watching. Uh, oh, it's Devin's birthday. Happy birthday, Devin. Devin is a big-time watcher of our show. So I think he's watched every single episode. So thank you, Devin. Love it so much that you watch that. Happy birthday. Hope you have a really great one. There's Jack out there. There's Rosalie and Todd, and there's Danny and Matthew and Crystal's in North Carolina. I'm in North Carolina, too. Where are you watching from? Let me know. i like to know because sometimes we have people from all over the world. We've had people in Germany, Canada, and Australia, New Zealand, Africa, all over the place watching our drawing. So without further ado, let's get rocking and rolling and drawing. What's up? Daniel's out there too. Hello, Daniel. Okay, I'm going to start with a fresh sheet here. And what did I say we're drawing? Oh yeah, Brandon Jones' uh, race car. So we're going to draw a side view. That means we need a ground line, a straight line at the bottom, kind of like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just about as straight as you can get it, about like that. Mine's a little angled here. Let me, let me see, I can actually shift my paper. Look at that, see? Little secret, little trick there I have. Okay, there's Julia, Marcel, and Todd. Okay, all right. Now we're drawing the side of the car, and we're going to fit the car into a rectangle box, kind of like a shoe box. But here's the deal. I can't erase. I can't erase this marker. You might not be able to erase what you're using with either, so we're going to, we're going to have to uh, work a little bit smart here. We have to be smart. I want you to draw a line going up about like that, and then a line going up about like that. They're not perfectly... 90 degrees, right? They're angled out a little bit like this on the sides. They're not straight up and down. They're a little bit angled out. Okay? Don't forget that. All right. See, I don't know about you, but I can envision this car already. Have you figured that out yet with your drawings? You can see what you're going to draw. That's a... you got to envision it. you got to envision it. If you can't, just follow along the steps and we'll, we'll come to it. All right. Now on the front here, the left side is going to be the front, by the way. I should have told you that. We're going to make a curve like this. Now watch me draw it, and then you can draw it in a minute. All right? Looky there. Kind of reminds me of a loaf of bread happening. Kind of looks like a loaf of bread on that side, doesn't it? It's making me hungry for lunch. I think I'm going to have to go make a PB&J sandwich or something like that. Now the back's not going to be like that. That's the front. The nose of that super is curved and mean and aggressive and fast looking. The back is a little more chiseled. A little more streamlined in the back, so you can keep that kind of square. 
But what I'm going to do is imagine this line came all the way across and I'm going to continue it over here and then bring that down. So the right side kind of looks like a house. The left side kind of looks like a loaf of bread. See, we have an angle up and then an angle back and an angle across. Maybe a little bit like a lug nut. All right, so you work on that. Get that done and I'll, I'll be back with you here. We'll start drawing again. I'm going to read some more comments like Steve's out there watching and Larry and Chase and Billy and Johan and Jean. I wonder where you guys are from. Let me know. Andrew's watching. Lisa says hello. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day like I am. It's beautiful outside here in North Carolina. Perfect time for some lunch hour drawing. That's what we're doing here every Tuesday and Thursday. Hey, Lynette. Good to see you. Okay. Every good race car needs a good roof. Right? You need a place for the driver to fit in and fit their head in. And if the race car happens to go upside down, the roof has to be sturdy and protect the driver. And so we, uh, we need to draw a roof now. It's a little bit like the roof of a house, except it doesn't come to a point, thankfully. It gets cut off at the top. So we're going to draw one line back here at an angle, kind of like the house, uh, house roof. And then one line over here at an angle. Okay? And then we're going to connect them like so. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Looks pretty good, don't you think? Can you tell now that this is going to be a race car? It's not going to be a loaf of bread. It's not going to be a shoebox. It's actually going to turn into a race car. All right, there's Carol saying hello and Jen. Bill's in the UK. Thanks for watching from across the pond, Bill. We appreciate that. There's Susan. Susan's enjoying watching. All right. Now remember these first two lines we drew? I'm gonna draw, let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange on them so you can know which ones I'm talking about. Plus I'm just excited to get to some color already, but you don't have to draw these orange. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just using this orange so you know what I'm talking about. But those were some of our first two lines. Remember those? Well, I want you to imagine that there's a line that connects the tops of those lines and we're gonna draw one in lightly. It's not gonna be super dark. In fact, it can be a little dashed if you want. But we are going to dash a line in there, kind of like that. And this is going to be our guide for our door, where the door goes. I'm just dashing, kind of lightly, connecting those two lines that we drew at the beginning. Okay? See what I did there? If you have a pencil or something lighter, you can use that. But if you're like me, you have a marker or something you can't erase, we have to get a little bit creative. So that's where the dash line comes in. Patricia's in Ohio. All right, excellent. Looks like we have somebody watching from Israel as well. There's Milo, Paul and Dylan, Rusty and Johnny. A lot of people watching. Thanks for all the thumbs up and the hearts. We're drawing a race car today. We're drawing Brandon Jones' race car. All right, now, we need to draw the second part of the roof. Now, this is where things get a little bit complicated, but I know you can do it. This is the angle we're drawing. It's a little bit curved. See how you can see the, the roof number a little bit? It's not perfectly sideways like this where you can't see it. It's a little bit angled to where you can see it. That's why we're going to have to draw the roof again a little closer to us. So, all you need to do is you see where the rear roof ends and the front where the windshield ends. We're just going to draw another line coming down like that. Okay? It's kind of like it extended all the way down. All right. It's going to come together, I promise. You'll see what we're doing. But we basically just drew the front windshield and the rear windshield just with one line. Isn't that pretty cool? All right. Next, we have to draw this same line at the top of the roof, but just a little closer to us about here. The same line. Make it parallel and just a little longer like that. Okay? Remember what parallel means. Two lines that run side by side and ne never touch, never cross. Those are parallel lines. Alright, now I want you to mimic the lines that we have here on the windshield and the roof back here again and make them meet at this point you drew. See that? See how they meet at a point right there? Oh yeah, that's looking good. I like this. 
Next you can draw the top of the windshields like that. All right, take a breather while you catch up. That was a lot of lines. Kind of made a claw there. See that? But you can really tell how that looks like a three-dimensional roof, right? You can really tell that this car has a shape to it and it's not just a flat piece of paper car, right? All right, who else is out there? Becky and TJ, Lohit and Courtney, Ethan, Roger and Tim, Justin. Woo, a lot of people watching. Don't worry, well, they can only see my drawing. If you're worried about people watching your drawings, I, I can understand, you don't want to mess up, but it's okay to mess up here. We're just practicing, we're learning to draw race cars. Then, then I'm gonna go get some lunch. I think that's what I'm gonna do after this. All right, the spoiler. Spoiler alert, we're gonna draw the spoiler on the back. And that's pretty easy. It's just a little rectangle sitting on the back of the trunk like this. See that? Pretty good. All right, that's probably the easiest part of the car, so we wanted to get that out of the way. All righty. What do you think, windows or wheels? They both start with the W. I'm trying to decide which one I wanna do next. I think it's time for the wheels. You know, this car has been a block for too long. It's ready to race. It's ready to go fast, ready to make those turns. And to do that, you need some good wheels. So, if you've watched this before, you know we use a special letter upside down to draw our wheel wells where our wheels fit in, and that's the letter U. So all you have to do is draw the letter U upside down, like this. You see, one of the tricks of drawing cool pictures and new things, not just race cars, is to find shapes that you already know how to draw that already exist inside the thing you're trying to draw. So who knew we would have used the letter U to draw a race car? If you've watched this show before, you know, you knew that already, I know it. So on the front and the back, we're going to draw in the letter U. There we go. Turned out pretty good, huh? Of course, it's upside down. I mentioned it was upside down, right? I mean, you could have drawn an, a, a right side up U, but you would have a, a very weird looking race car, I have to say. All right, there's Brandon watching in Virginia, not too far from me in North Carolina. Thanks for watching. All right, we'll get to the wheels later. We're going to go to the windows now, all right? So the windows are going to follow this same line. Again, I'm going to use my orange here and so you can see which line I'm talking about. But see this line here? That roof line, see it? We're going to mimic that. We're going to draw that same line just a little bit further down to draw some windows. So I'm going to follow that line up. I'm going to follow that line over. And then I'm going to come down for the front window of the race car. And now for the rear side window, we're going to draw another post up there. And I'm going to make it a I'm going to make it a tiny little window for our Supra. There we go. Tiny little window for that Supra. All right, Jeff's in Kentucky. There's a uh, Let's see, Jim is watching in Washington, quite a ways away from me, all the way across the country. All right, this is looking good. See, the beauty of this drawing we're doing is, I'm drawing Brandon Jones's car, but you can draw whatever car you want at this point, because we've just created a template, right? A blank race car. If you don't want to draw Brandon's, you can draw Kyle's, or Denny's, or Eric's, or, or Martin's, or, or Ty's, or uh, who else have we got? Harrison, or Riley, any of these people you want to draw. Or maybe there's another driver outside of JGR you like. We still love you if that's true, okay? We still love you. Now, for the wheels, you might think of the wheel as a circle, and it is a circle. But here's what we get to do. We don't have to draw a full circle because we already drew half a circle with our U. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw another U at the bottom, inside of our U. So I want you to watch what I do here and then do it yourself. So my U starts here, comes down here, and then goes back up. And just like that, we pretty much have a wheel already drawn in there. Wasn't that easy? I know circles are hard to draw for anybody, but making two U's like that, one right side up and one upside down, really makes it a lot easier. So I'm just drawing the bottom of our wheel there. See that? Just the bottom. All right. 
There we go. And now our race car has some wheels. That happened pretty quick. If you were like me, you were nervous about drawing a perfect circle. Very hard to do, so we didn't even have to mess with that. There's Danny in Massachusetts. Jay and Michael and Bobby are watching. There's Lynn, also in Massachusetts, next to New York. Good to know. Good to know, Lynn. All right. Let's do a couple more things. We're going to draw a window net. The window net is just going to be some crossed lines, up and down, and then over side by side, like this. I like drawing a bunch of number 11s up and down like this. See that? Bada bing, bada boom, side by side like that, and then we come across, do a cross pattern, like a checkerboard or a checkered flag. By the way, we've drawn checkered flags, we've even drawn a bunch of animals in this show, and if you've missed some of these episodes, you might want to go to YouTube and search Joe Gibbs Racing Drawing, or Boris Draws, or something like that, and you'll find us, and you'll find all our old episodes, and we'll have a good time learning how to draw a bunch of things. There's Drew in North Carolina, just like me. Thanks, Drew. There's Gloria and Jennifer and Ron watching. Bobby, Bonnie, Mark. Whew. Two Bobbies. we got two Bobbies watching. I don't think any of them are Bobby Labonte, though. I don't think Bobby Labonte's watching. All right, we're almost time. It's almost time to color this car in. We're not quite there, but we'll get there in a second. I think we're going to draw the numbers on the side of this car now, okay? And here's how you do a number. Start with a box, a square, kind of like this on the side of the door, right about there. We're going to draw a box. It's going like this. It's going up and down. As good as you can. Draw a square. Okay, we're going to fit the number inside that square by dividing it in half. So then we're going to divide it in half. Now we have two sections. And as you can see, I left room for a one. I made the left side a little skinny for the one. And the right side is going to be the 9, because that's Brandon Jones' number. That's who I'm choosing to draw. But if you didn't know, you could pretty much turn a box into any two numbers. Divide it in half and make it an 11. Maybe this could be a 10, or an 18, or a 12, or a 13. Who knows? All right, so to make a 9, I'm just going to draw a little dot up here at the top. Draw a little dot down here at the bottom. I've made an 18. See how that turned into an 18? Pretty good. But for the 9, I'm going to carry a line all the way over here and make our 19. And that is a NASCAR looking number, isn't it? Bold and beautiful. Danny's going to draw Rusty Wallace's car and Kyle Busch. Rusty Wallace, one of our uh, old time veteran Hall of Fame drivers. That's pretty cool to draw an old car like that. All right. Jake's asking about trivia. Jake, well, as soon as we can get back in the shop and get more people in there and it's safe to do so, we'll get trivia going again. We need some stuff at the shop to do trivia, but this is what we're doing for now. All right. I think it's almost time to color, don't you? I think so. Yeah, let's do it. So, I'm going to get my yellow crown out. I'm also going to get this lime green that I have because Brandon Jones runs these day glow bright race cars for Menards. So the side of this car needs to be a day glow, bright, lime greeny, yellowy looking car. Okay? So I'm just going to start coloring. We'll get back to drawing the background and some more action in the wheels in a second. If you don't have colors with you, well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe get some colors. Alright, I'm going to make the nose this yellow. The side, the roof. And the, uh, the hood, I should say, the hood's going to be black, so we're going to leave that not going to be yellow. All right. A lot of people watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the hearts and the retweets and the thumbs up and the likes. Make sure you share this with your friends and get them drawing. It's always better to learn from others, just like you're learning from what I'm doing. Draw with some friends and maybe you'll learn something from them. There we go. I'm going to make that trunk yellow. I'm going to make that roof yellow. A lot of yellow on this one. A lot of yellow. Hope you have a couple yellow crowns laying around. Oh yeah, Daniel suggests getting a highlighter. That is an excellent idea, Daniel. That would have been perfect. I don't have one with me. But if you have a yellow highlighter, 
That would be the perfect color for Brandon Jones's Menards car, his Supra. Let me tell you, I might have to redo this one again and use a highlighter because that is a great idea. All right. Okay, I'm pretty happy with my yellow in there. If you wanna, if you wanna do some shading in yellow, I suggest grabbing an orange, maybe a light orange like this, a little tangerine, and at the bottom you can kind of add in just really lightly, put some orange in there, and it'll make it have a little bit of shape to it, kind of like that. All right, for the hood, it's black, and my gray just broke in half, so. I'm going to have to use this little nib there. And I'm going to start with gray because here's the deal. You can always go darker, but it's really hard to go lighter once you've gone too dark. So I'm going to start light. And I will start adding in some black and some dark colors in there in a minute. All right. I'm even going to make the B post here black. Got the A post, B post, and C post. I'm going to draw some gray in my windshields just to make it look like glass, not too dark, just lightly. Do some gray behind the window net. All right. Window. Looking good. Now I'm going to get my black here. I'm really going to start coloring in that hood in black. I'm just going to use straight lines. I think it's going to make it look faster when you use straight swooshy lines like that. Oh yeah. Now our headlights, you can't really see them. They're kind of tucked up here, so I'm going to do a little line for the headlights, but they're not really part of this drawing because you can't see them right now. All right. I'm also going to fill in our number in black, and I'm going to try to leave a little bit of white around the edges like that. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. I like it. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to do a number on the roof as well in black, 19. I'm going to make this one a little more scribbly because you're not really focused on it up here. It's flying by. We're really looking at the door number, but I just want to make sure people know there's a 19 up there. All right. Yeah. Another place for some yellow is going to be on the tire and those Goodyear tires and those Eagles. So I'm going to just color in a, a circle on here like this. My neighbor's mowing the yard. I don't know if you can hear him. Sorry for the noise, but that's what's going on, right? We're staying safe and staying indoors and going on with life. And that's just what, what happens here, isn't it? So I did a yellow circle to show that fast. Good your tire spinning around. I might do some more orange in there just to add some more excitement. And now we have to color in the wheel in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker again. And I'm going to start doing that. Just drawing a circle. Just kind of doing that. Doesn't have to be perfect. They are going so fast that you can barely even see if it's a perfect circle or not. So, there we go. All right, that Brandon Jones Supra is looking pretty darn good. All right. Who's out there? There's Ray and Troy, Jeremy and Brandon, Cindy, Francis and Steve, Lynn. Lynn says, put the fuel port in there. Well, good thing I have green right here, Lynn, because that fuel port is going to go right back here. A little circle. That's where we're going to put in our fuel. Need plenty of that for the race. Do a little black dot in the middle. And there we go. All right, now we have the meat, the bones, the structure of the race car ready to go. We need to have a little bit of a background, right? Now, the concrete at Dover is kind of a tan color. I don't know if I have really have a tan color in here. I have kind of a peach color. That might work. So I'm going to grab a peach color. I'm also going to grab a brown, a light brown color. And I think... I think I'm going to use white. We're going to see if we can make kind of a concrete color. I'm going to start with this peach since it's light. I like starting with the light colors and then moving darker. And I'm just going to draw some crazy, fast, 
swooshy, long, blurred lines around the car like this. I know you can probably barely see that on your screen, but it's there. Just starting light, making some speed lines. Starting light over here, going forward and backward. On your screen, I'm drawing behind my head over here. And then we'll start adding in some gray and some brown, maybe some black and some white. All right, here's some brown. Not too many browns, don't go too dark. Just gonna add some swoosh lines in there. Oh yeah. Now I know Jack's out there watching and Jack likes to draw the shadows. He knows how important they are. So we need to put a shadow on this car after we draw the asphalt and the concrete, I should say. Like that. Okay. I'm going to put some white in there. I, don't, I know you can't see it, but I think it's going to help it in person. And then maybe a little bit of gray down here. Yeah. Just really giving this racetrack some character. And I'm even going to add some orange in there and get a little crazy. I know there's not usually orange on the ground, but hey. This is our art. We can pretty much make it do whatever we want it to do, right? Maybe, maybe a little blue, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do a little blue. Getting crazy here. You see, orange is the opposite of blue. Blue is the opposite of orange. And when you put them together, it makes them pop. Likewise, yellow and purple. There's a lot of yellow in this. So at the bottom, I'm going to do some purple. And I'm going to make our yellow Brandon Jones car pop even more. So now we're kind of getting crazy with color. And I like that. Because just like lines help a piece of art come to life, color can help a piece of art come to life. So if I'm using yellow in my car, I'm going to use the opposite of purple on the ground. And that's really going to make it come to life, I think. You might disagree. You let me know if you disagree. I want to see what you do. That's the beauty of doing this artwork, is that we can pretty much do what we want. All right. I hope you're going to watch the races this weekend and look for Brandon Jones driving this car. Maybe you want to draw it from life, from what you see on TV. Maybe that's something you want to do. That'd be pretty cool. All right. What else? Maybe a little more orange up top. What do you say? Yeah, I like that. Just making it look fast. Maybe a little more blue. Woo! That got colorful quick, didn't it? All right. Daniel says he's going to a cross-country meet at Columbia Speedway. That's cool. A lot of fun things going on. Glad uh, y'all are out there. Things are going well. Thank you for watching with me today. The last thing I'm going to do is draw a shadow. And I think shadows are imper important because they make the car look like it's stuck to the track. And they can really add some speed and excitement to our car. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a line at the bottom. Like this. And we're going to pretty much draw a car upside down. So we did the hood. Now we're going to do the roof. See that? And then we're going to go back and we're going to draw the bumper like this. And just like that, we have a shadow on our car. And all you have to do next is fill that in with black or some other dark color. And you will have a shadow and your car will look like it is stuck to the ground and racing fast. You know, the secret to going fast in NASCAR is having a lot of grip on those tires. so. We want to have a shadow on there. We want to make sure it looks like our car is stuck to the ground and moving fast. Look there. Yep. I like it a lot. Plus that black is going to make our yellow pop even more because they have such a high contrast. I'm just pushing harder with each successive layer. Filling in that shadow. Making that car look good and fast. There's Brandon Jones's number 19 Menard Supra coming to life. I like it. I like it a lot. Now it's up to you if you want to draw any more. I'm almost done with mine. I mean, you could come up here and I'm going to draw a black line for our wall, which Brandon, of course, needs to stay far away from this weekend. There's our wall up there just flying by. If you want to, you could write Dover up there. 
I'm just going to do it really light and sketchy. A D. Very light. O. V. E. R. I know you can barely see that, but that's because it's flying by on the wall. It's flying by. D O V E R. And then maybe we add some some more green up here just for our, our crowd. Maybe they're wearing a lot of green shirts because they like Brandon and Kyle Bush and all those other green car drivers. Plus we didn't have much green in our drawing, so might as well add some green in there. Alright. Well, I think that's it for me. I'm going to sign my work here. Put my signature really small down here at the bottom. B. O. R. I. S. And I'm going to put the date. 2020. So I remember when I drew it. And that's how I know I'm done. Well, like I said, you can color this car in with any colors you want, with any driver you want. Today we did Brandon Jones. He's a good guy. He's uh, fun to hang out with and he's a good driver. Our highest diminishing driver last weekend in the Xfinity Series at Daytona. We'll see how he does at Dover. I bet he'll do pretty good. That 19 team in Xfinity has won at Dover a few times. All right. Well, make sure you send me pictures of your drawings. One of these days I'll do a little show and tell and we'll show off what you did. That's always fun to see. And uh, thanks again for watching. This is Boris. Stay safe. Have a good day and keep drawing.